Claire Lamb, Mother Holding Something Horrific is an exhibition that's been 18 months in the making. The exhibition is taking over the entirety of Acker's Galleries. It's all new work that Claire has made for the show. And Claire's an incredibly process-based artist, so she's been really working hard in her studio, kind of working through these ideas. Um, and it's kind of amazing to see how such a massive mountain of influences and interests that she has, has distilled into what's actually quite refined and at times quite abstract work um, in the form of sculpture and photography, theatrical mise-en-scene, performance and sound, the soundtrack that you'll see here in these gallery spaces. The title, Mother Holding Something Horrific. I, I, it's very difficult to title work. You know, the title has to actually come and reveal itself again through the work. And I was looking at these images from Midsummer Night's Dream from 1930s, and I forgot the actress, but she's holding this giant, huge donkey's head. And I wrote underneath it, mother holding something horrific and it just stuck and so for me the mother of the title is an archetype or a character in the same way that a monster might be and both of these things have sort of attendant behaviors and expectations that come along with them and so I think that's what's so compelling about the title because a mother is someone that or a symbol that you associate with sort of nurture and with care and not necessarily in association with horror or a monster. Well, of course, we know that those things can ultimately be also one and the same. And so I think that this kind of um, combining of different sort of archetypes and characters and this kind of wanting to wrestle with the expectations that come with these roles is something that Claire is really interested in throughout her art making and throughout her position as well as a mother and a daughter and an artist and a citizen in the world. So it's, it's curious and beguiling but also a little bit confronting and it's very much about challenging the sort of behaviours that we are expected to perform in the various roles that we have throughout our personal and professional lives. One of the reasons we're interested in Claire's work is the breathtaking array of cultural contexts, biographical concerns, art historical concerns, philosophical concerns that um, her work embraces. Um, in this exhibition we can see horror, humour, eroticism, um, among many other um, areas of interest playing out in these quite pared back, curious, existential objects and scenographies. So one of the things I wanted to do was move away from form and having to look after it afterwards and having to keep it. Um, so I wanted everything that I used to be able to be useful or be reinvented or have another life. making images, the lighting is so important and so is the sound, or to round out a character. Um, so again, it's me looking at the structure of making. And it's always, even initially, it was a sculptural structure. So I would look, you know, the carving, the, the making, the welding, the dealing with the formal aspects of, of form. Um, and it's the same within any, any creative profession. There will be the mechanisms that you need to make. And I've, yeah, I've, I'm just discovering what that is and I just wanted to include them because I think they're important. There's so much that I think that visitors will take away from this exhibition. Um, it's formally very curious and interesting. It's materially rich, it's raw, it's emotionally honest, um, and it's also quite bawdy and fun. And I think that's really important to keep in mind, this sort of humour that trickles through the installation. Um, it's sort of part history lesson. It's a little bit like reading someone's diary when you know you shouldn't. 
um, and it's totally beguiling and I think that there are sort of lots of emotions and sort of thoughts that visitors will have when they encounter the exhibition that they will last with them or stay with them for a long time.